everything around us is matter. The soil and the farm, the water and the river and sea, and the air we breathe. Matter has different properties that make them different from one another. Some types of matter have properties that make them good materials for producing useful products. Other types have properties that make them harmful. Sometimes matter also undergoes change that affect their properties. In this topic, you will learn how to identify the different properties of matter that can help us determine whether it is harmful or useful. Earth has everything we need. We need to survive. There are also things that can harm us. It has all the food that we eat to give the nutrients and energy in order to live. It has all the materials that we need to build many things including our house and household materials. However, we not use or dispose properly. These materials can harm the environment and destroy the living things like us. This is why it is very important to know how to distinguish useful from harmful materials. It can save us from danger and stress. How can you identify if certain material is useful or harmful in this topic? You will learn more about properties that can make a material harmful and useful. What are the different properties of matter that can make it harmful or useful? Knowing the different properties of materials will help you to minimize waste. So it is very important to learn more about the properties that can make a material harmful and useful. Use different materials for cleaning, cooking, eating, and repairing. The usefulness of certain material depends on its properties. There are materials that are durable and therefore can be reused many times. Though there are some that are not meant to be reused, creative and effective labor still find other ways to reuse them. There are also materials that are made for certain purposes only and can harmful when not used or disposed properly. In order to minimize waste in our own household, we have to know which materials are still useful and which ones should already be disposed. Before throwing any materials, you must first check if it can cause harm to many things and the environment. When is a material useful? Materials are considered useful when it serves a purpose. These materials we have properties such as durability, resistance to water, heat, or acid, flexibility, elasticity, and hardness. Useful materials. Some useful materials can also be reused. Take for example, a container for any sol solid or liquid material. When it is already empty, it can still be used to other purposes. Whether bottle is made of plastic, glass, or have properties that make them reusable. These materials we have properties which are durability, resistance to water, heat or acid, flexibility, elasticity, and hardness. When is a material harmful? Materials are considered harmful when the material may bring harm to your health, environment, and other organisms when not used properly. Harmful materials harmful materials may bring hazards. For example, broken glass uh, can cause cuts or injury. Toxic substances may also be present in the things you commonly use such as paints, cleaners, perfumes, gels, or powders. That's why you should take precautionary measures when handling and using different materials. Here is the big idea. Mother has different properties that can be considered, considered in order to minimize waste. When is a matter? When is a material considered waste? When a material already serves its primary use, primary use and can be discarded, it considered waste. Waste can be classified as biodegradable, 
and not biodegradable. Biodegradable waste are useful waste. Generally, biodegradable materials can be decomposed by bacteria or other living things. Examples include fruit peelings, dried leaves, leftover food, paper, and lights. Non-biodegradable materials do not rot easily. Some of uh, these can still be used as farm trays, point bag, or household decor. Example are plastics, styrofoam, rubber, glass can, and lights. Always remember, waste materials can also be safe or harmful. Safe waste materials. Safe waste materials are not poisonous or toxic. Some of these materials can be used for recycling. Example of safe materials include paper, clothing, lab parts, or food. Uh, paper and clothing can be recycled while plant and food can easily decompose and can be used as organic fertilizer. Harmful waste materials Harmful waste materials on the other hand, are materials that are toxic or harmful to living things when not disposed properly. Example of toxic materials include electrolyte from batteries, used oil from vehicles, plastics, burning of rubbers can also be hazardous. Some of these materials are sold to junk shop. There are some processing companies who can recover the useful chemical and recycle them useful products. Now, let's recall. Useful materials. Harmful materials. Useful materials are materials that serve its purpose. Can be used for other purposes. Can easily be recycled. Can be repaired. Something that we can recover in the material. Harmful materials. Materials that are toxic to us. Materials that can cause injury. Can pollute the environment. Materials that are irritant and corrosive cannot be reused or recycled. Now, to check your understanding. Classify the following as useful or harmful. Harmful materials. Black 